Shalom Aleichem, sisters and brothers, how are you doing? How difficult, how difficult can life be for so many people, for so many people? Yesterday I got a phone call from a person, told me he cannot close his eyes. Every time he closed his eyes, horrible thoughts are attacking him. Not even able to rest, not even able to put his head and to go to sleep, to close his eyes and to relax his mind. Not able. Terrified from traumas, from horrible, horrible life experience. Experiences that brought him to such a shaky place, such a dark and terrified and lost place. And we're wondering what's going on. Like, where is it taking us? The world is in such, such domestic, difficult and hard place. So hard for so many people. But it came to my mind that it is not supposed to discourage and break my spirit to think on the greatest greatest difficulties that we're facing, even though that it is so hard and there is no way out to, to our eyes. It's like it's closing on us, you know, like certain things that are happening in the world are closing us in our houses, in our homes, in our phones, in our computers. And we're so scared to, to break free, to break out. But I said to myself that it's written that the darkest hour is the hour before redemption. And definitely, 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 the hours that we are facing right now are the darkest that human civilization ever experienced before. And even though that we all remember the horrible Holocaust and that million died, and been burnt in, in ovens. Also today, thousands and thousands and maybe millions of people are being murdered for no justified reason, for no war, just for sake of cruel people taking advantage, advantage in, on the weak ones, taking as much power as they can from them not revealing no compassion, no kindness upon them, killing innocent civilians, innocent children, women, men. The dark hour that we are facing, with no doubt, is the hour that is bringing us toward the redemption and the great salvation. So even though that it is so, so hard impossible to grasp people that are not able to close their eyes people that cannot go to sleep people that are terrified people that have been raped and abused hundreds of times in like lifetime of abuse people that was so hurt from from people that were supposed to be the foundation the the solid ground of of their lives We must not lose hope. We must strengthen ourselves and push forward, toward that great day that HaKadosh Baruch Hu will uncover His great unconditional love for all of us and will heal us, protect and defend the weak and the poor, the righteous and the humble ones, the ones who are straight in their heart to follow the truth and to seek for it with all our might and it is in our power not to give up and not to back off and never, never to say despair, never. Our mission is to keep on climbing, keep on fighting, keep on marching, keep on walking, keep on making small steps toward that wished and hoped day when the love 
the endless, eternal, eternal great love of HaKadosh Baruch Hu will cover the creation's face and the kindness and great love of His will be seen through every particle of creation. The light will shine and we will all be united in great harmony to become one with Him and to be in the maximum of joy and pleasure and satisfaction and completion that that any creation can hope for and, and desire and more and more and more and more than that and more. Things that we cannot imagine, things that we cannot even hope for because we don't know how great that they will be. So don't say despair, don't give up. Don't let yourself go to sadness and depression. Fight back, cheer up yourselves. Be happy with what you have. Thank yourselves and thank Hashem for the great things that you're still holding. Even if it's a one holy thought a day, even if it's just not to kill yourself, no matter what you do, you still have good things inside of you, good, good points, good sparks that are, that nurtures you, that gives you life, that gives you connection to the truth. If you seek for the truth, it means that the truth is communicating with you. If you call God even once a week, once a month, once a year, it means that God opened that window, that opening for you. And you are being called. You're being called by God that saw and see the beautiful light of your heart, the beautiful light of your soul, the illumination of your godly soul that you are a good, good person, a good, wonderful soul that is craving and hoping and desiring the good in any possible way to be seen and to be revealed. So count on your goodness, be happy and proud of yourself for you to keep on marching and walking and doing the best you can every day. Every day is a struggle, but every day is a victory, is a win for you and for the entire world with you. Every good thing that you do is breaking the darkness and bringing light into the lowest places of our existence and shaking the stability of evil and revealing the unconditional love of the Creator to all of us. And may His light and shine heal us and protect us and reject death and sorrow and pain from the world completely. And in our days, we will see the complete redemption. And all the evil, with no exceptions, will find its way underground to the hottest place in the stomach of earth, in the deepest place of them all, to become the battery and the charger for our 1,000 years of blooming and satisfying redemption. All the energy that they stolen and took from us will come back to us and they will go down as flaming coals to feed the beauty of creation that will prosper, rise and shine to us all in the long day of 1,000 years of redemption. May we see that with healthy eyes, with a shining bright soul, with health and holy wealth. Ba'agalau v'zman kariv v'nomar. Amen.